What's going on everyone? I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics and yes, I'm back with a video finally. We're gonna be showing off my haul from Planet Comic Con 2024. Before I do that though, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share this video. So uh, this year I went to Planet Comic Con uh, for the weekend, though it was kind of cut short because the school that I teach at was actually in a state basketball tournament over the weekend. We took third place, unfortunately, uh, but third is better than, you know, last place. So I was able to go for two hours on Friday, two hours on Saturday, and then on Sunday I was able to be there all day and I wanted to show off what I got here. So on Friday, uh, I went by and saw the usual suspects, Ray, Danny, a bunch of other people. And I got this set of books actually from Tony. Um, I got this set of books for 60 bucks um, as a set here. This is Batman Year One, Batman 404. Um, I just wanted a reader's copy to go with the rest of my Year One set because the original 404 that I have I actually have it a 9.8 now. Um, and I felt like the others were lonely. They needed another copy to go with it. So I got another Batman 404, the first book in the Batman Year One uh, story, which is, in my opinion, the best Batman story ever written. Right up with that is Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Now I have book one as a reader's copy, but I needed to get book two, books two, three, and four. Um, so here's book two. I don't even know what printings they are. I don't even care. Just needed reader's copies, book three and book four. And like I said, I got all of these Batman books here um, for 60 bucks total. So basically I got this book for free and the rest of the, I, I paid for those. <laughs> it's essentially what happened. I got those from, again, Tony, good guy. Really good guy. Uh, I believe that's all I got on Friday. On Saturday, um, I went back I almost got the Batman, sorry, not Batman, the Power Rangers 30th anniversary special, the Jason David Frank, uh, Tommy Oliver helmet cover uh, variant, the foil cover, but it had a tick on it. So I ended up passing on it because I want a 9.8 to go with the rest of those helmet covers, obviously, right? And if it has a, a tick on it, I don't really feel like taking a chance on getting a 9.8 on that. So I did not get that book. But what I did get on... Um, Friday, sorry, Saturday, was this uh, poster right here. And then I got a couple of these as well, even though this one kind of got messed up in the car on the, uh, the way back. You guys can kind of see it uh, right here. Kind of got messed up on the way back and being in a trunk. It is what it is, but I did buy an extra one. Um, and this is Power Rangers Team and T. This is a art print done by Freddie E. Williams, uh, my favorite. Power Ranger, my favorite Ninja Turtle together. This was a cover for, I think it was issue two. Look at that. Absolutely sick. And then signed down there again by Freddie E. Williams, the artist. Bought it from his table and I got the uh, thing here as well. So these little sleeves were five bucks each. I, I broke one, so <laughs> I lost $5. But the other one, five bucks and then the print was 10 bucks. So basically $20 there after spending 60 on Friday. Now, the total cost of everything does not obviously include um, any hotels, parking, gas, food, or any of that. Um, so uh, I, I still spent a decent amount. I think there should be a counter on the bottom. Maybe, maybe I didn't do it. I feel like I probably did though. Sunday comes around. Well, before we go to Sunday, I, I, I do want to talk about how on Saturday night, me, Mike V, Beckerman, and Pocan Joe, we all went out for a nice dinner um, to hang out, get some drinks, and just hang out for a couple of hours. And it was a lot of fun. We hung out with Tom's town, at, at Tom's town in Kansas City. We had a great time. And then on Sunday, I came to the con for a specific reason. Um, but as I was walking to do the thing that I wanted to do, I saw this book. Now I've been looking at all of the vendors over the weekend. Like that's what I was doing on Friday and Saturday. Like looking at the walls, looking through the long boxes. I was looking for a couple of books. I was looking for a um, Superman 317. I was looking for a Birds of Prey 8. I was looking for a 9.8 copy of Flash number 197, the first Zoom. Uh, and then I was looking for a couple other books as well. They were DC or Batman related as well. Um, but 
I was able to get this book. And this book, I'm pretty happy with. Um, he had it on the wall for 25 bucks. I don't know what the grade is. I think it's probably gonna be like a six, maybe a five. Um, I don't know. I don't really care that much. Um, he had it for 25 bucks. I got it for 20. This is one of the books. This is Superman 317, just a classic Neil Adams cover. I'm trying to get more Superman books in my collection. In fact, I was also looking for some Superman prints. I didn't see like any one of any Superman prints. I feel like Superman obviously is the greatest superhero ever from Kansas. As everyone knows, I'm from Kansas as well. And I uh, feel like he's a really underrated superhero. Like no one really collects Superman. Um, no one really has that many keys and I'm trying to get more of Superman keys in my collection. Okay, uh, that was 20 bucks. And then I went over and this is what I spent most of my day on Sunday doing. And that is spending time in the Kevin Eastman line to get some books signed. Um, I got there around 1040 or so um, to get in line. He didn't show up until 1230. And it was already like 80 to 100 people ahead of me, which is like crazy. Um, so I stood in line for two hours basically until I got there. And then I stood in line for another two hours after he got there before it was finally my turn. I got my Team and T number three and four signed and sketched uh, with the remark there. Um, I wanted to do that because I have issues number one and number two and Raphael number one all signed and remarked as well. I'm trying to get all the magazine size Team and T books signed and remarked by Kevin Eastman um, to go with the rest of my set. I feel like it'll look great on my wall. You can kind of see them up there. Um, and uh, I just feel like it'd be awesome. So the signatures and the remarks were $50 each for uh, issues three and four, so 100 bucks to get those signed and remarked. And then I went over to CDC because there was a witness facilitator there. We walked over together with the books. I submitted it to CDC. And that was another, I think, 175 bucks or so. I think it was 176, something like that. 175 bucks is what we'll say uh, on top of the cost of getting it signed and remarked. So to get them signed and remarked plus the cost of CDC, Shipping all of that ended up being 275 bucks. And I thought I was done. I really did. I started saying my goodbyes to everyone. Um, and I went over and I was saying goodbye to Ray. And the guys from Best Car Books um, were like, hey, come over to our booth if you got some books to trade, which I had some books to trade. Um, and I went over there and I was like, hey, you know, this is what I got. Let me look at your wall. And we ended up making a trade for the books that I had. I'm not going to say what books they are, um, but I will say the amount of money that I spent in the trade. I ended up spending a hundred dollars on the plus the trade of what I already had um, to get this book, which is a key comic book that I've been trying to get for a while. Every time I try to get one, I feel like there's like a bunch of really crappy copies uh, that people are selling for like 50, 60, 75 bucks. And this is a near mint copy. This is actually a little bit better than near mint. And it's a really nice grade. And honestly, I might get this crack press and regraded because this could come back a 9.8. This is a Mega Men number three in a CGC 9.6. This is the first appearance of Lobo, which uh, Jason Momoa is being rumored to play uh, in the upcoming DCU as he's going to get recast as uh, he, he's no longer going to be um aquaman anymore but i wanted to get this book i've been trying to get this book for a while like i said and i paid 100 bucks for this book plus a trade so i did pretty well there and i, I know they felt like they did well as as well <laughs> so that is everything that i spent but i do want to show off some books that i got as an a-ok -okay from a good friend mike v he is way too nice He's just the nicest guy he knows that i like collecting nightwing so I'm going to do this pretty pretty much rapid fire here. We got Nightwing 138, Nightwing 98, uh, Batman Rest in Peace Robin 176, Flash number 36, he knows I'm a Flash fan as well, Nightwing 96, Speaking of the Flash, he's on the cover here. This is Titans Rebirth number one. I believe this is a second printing. 
I had the first print, obviously. Uh, Grayson, number one for the new 52. Nightwing, 148 and 49. And Nightwing, 97. And last book here as an AOK is Nightwing, one. Oh, sorry, there's two more. 147 and then 139. So. All right, guys, so that's everything from this weekend's haul at Planet Comic Con 2024. I had a great time hanging out with my friends, getting some awesome books, and just really hanging out, even though I didn't get to hang out that much. Again, I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Let me know in the comments section which book is your favorite. How do you guys think I did? All that and more. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, go Cats. Cowabunga. It's Orphan Time. Today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. Protect your comic book investment for as little as $12 by using Eric from comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. He can press any grade or tier of book and make sure you use my promo code Burke 54 to get free shipping back to you on your first order. Again, today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram.